I was born into listening to Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra. Uh, my father is a drummer, so of course, Chick Webb and Gene Krupa, they were like drummers I always understood. And he was always really big into the Glenn Miller band, always pointing out the sound, the sax and the clarinet, swing sound. Trying hard to understand what good does it do? Don't know where, where to turn if you're not there. Can't you see? I only want to see us through. Let's try again. So I found Headhouse at a time when these things were coming out of me for the very first time, a lot of original material is coming out now. And it's, it's, you know, it's really fun. Except for the music that we just did, I wrote, you know, 10 years ago and have kind of honed it until it was ready. <laughs> oh my God, get rid of that. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Try it again. I studied flute from the time I was in the fourth grade. I was first chair in the band. I excelled at it, I wanted to practice. But I just always sang. Yeah, yeah, I finally see another love. You'll be kissing late at night. But I'll be dreaming, maybe, that it's right. Oh, you'll be making plans and find. I'm not going to let go of singing traditional jazz ever, but the music that I write falls into a little more of a crossover kind of jazz affected area. And uh, I'm writing a book. <laughs> I'm writing a book about how and why music has affected my life. It's a, probably a book every single person you meet could write. There's a soundtrack to your life somewhere, and this book is going to be where it fits in in my life the music I've listened to, the music I eventually wrote, and what I said earlier, um, going from liking to sing to having to sing.